there. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? As always, as the entry seems to tell you, Mr. Warmack is definitely in the building. And today, I'm going to give you another diatribe, as they would say. No, I'm not trying to rap. That seems like that. No, I'm just going in, go on. All right, today I'm going to talk about the GOP. These idiots. The, the GOP, well, it's not the GOPs per se, it's the Tea Party's doing it, but the GOP's focus on Obamacare, this is going to be their downfall. If this is their game plan in 2014, if you look at my past videos, what I talk about it comes to fruition. It happens. Now, I don't got no crystal ball here. I'm just a righteous brother. But besides that, the GOP's concentration on Obamacare making them look like a single one-trick pony show. And the problem with the, what's going on is the Tea Party's insistence on getting rid of Obamacare, scrapping it, or making it to where they can uh, pull funding on certain parts of Obamacare. They're not letting up on us. And this is hurt the, the GOP as far as, look, they were, on, when they had, immigration, if you heard the last couple weeks, they've been talking about a lot of immigration. But as Banner said earlier, and I have to give Banner, I have to give Brainer props. He's been kind of jump, getting on his soapbox and acting like a leader for fucking once. But what Banner said, he doesn't see any deal on immigration. I can't fault Banner for this. Like, I, I place blame where it's supposed to be at, and Banner, this one, he, he can't help this. But the problem is to see fucking idiots in the Tea Party. And, like, I understand you're going, well, we're this Tea Party Patriots. No, you're not. What you should do is, you should do, like, be a third party, because you guys are not true conservatives. So, you tell me, but you're not. But, when you had the immigration thing, you guys had a steam on that immigration. You had the backing of a lot of people, of all colors, even the people whose families came from Mexico and other illegal countries. But what did you guys do? The Tea Party came back and said, no, we need to stick with this topic, and we need to hammer it home, hammer it home. And now, the immigration deal is off the table, basically. You might as well say you can talk about what's off the table this year. There's jobs coming up, so what the president, what the president do? And look, and here I told you about this. Remember, I have a video. If you look it up, look on uh, the war on wages 2014. I told you this is what happened. It happened. The president signed an executive order raising minimum wage for contract workers in the federal system. He raised it to ten bucks or something an hour. Now, I told you people he's going to do this. I told you this is the war on wages, and he fired the first shot. What you, GOP should be doing is finding a way where you can balance raising the wages without hurting the small businessman. And when I'm saying the small businessman, let me give you guys something. The government does not look at mom and pop pizza shops and your hair joints as small business. They're looking at companies like 500 to 100 as a small business. That's just how it is. I mean, they're not looking at like your copier, your copier business as a small business. They just don't look at it like that. No, but with, with immigration and wage talk control this year, let I me mean, look at it. There's gonna be there's gonna be some the GOP is gonna lose some seats. Why do you think that? Why do you think some of them dudes broke rank on a fiscal clip passing this month? Which is another video I had made before. I made I think I made two or three videos talking about how they're gonna pass a fiscal cliff. And you wanna know why? They're gonna pass. They're gonna they're gonna find funding. You wanna know why? Because 2014 the midterms are up. People know their asses are on the line. Now, these old school motherfuckers that are always getting elected like Mitch McConnell, I think I think to be in Kentucky, Mr. Ed's the only point that has a shot against him. You know, but other than that, Mitch McConnell's gonna have his seat. He don't give a shit. He can stay, you know, nose to the grindstone. Somebody who's a rookie congressman or rookie senator, they don't have that luxury to be like wavering. They have to be like, well, what's my constituents say? Like Mr. McConnell does hear his situation say one thing, you don't have to do it. 
But that's me. Oh, that's old good old boy Mitch. That's why. But if you're Joe Schmuck from fucking Idaho, you got to listen with the constituent state. If they don't want that, you'd be like, well, because they all, if you know, listen, listen to your politicians. They'll say this in the beginning when they're just getting elected. Well, my vote, the voters in my district, well, I don't think the voters in my state, well, that's not good overall for my state. As they start to get tenure, they lose that my voter, the voters in my state talk to, I don't feel this is right for America. It always happens. All you gotta do is listen to all these politicians. Now, the, the GOP does, like there was a Gallup poll that stated, it was, uh, this is February. So this happened in January. See, I shouldn't, I shouldn't date if I have to because I don't want to load this up. The February, the Gallup poll in January is polled some Americans that said that two thirds of Americans aren't even affected by Obamacare. Two thirds. So why is why if two thirds of Americans aren't aren't affected by Obamacare, why are you making this issue two thirds on 2014? I mean, why? Well, with all the, with all the progress of immigration, why why come back now? But just like two steps back, you know, the Tea Party jumps in again. Now it's all jacked up. You know. They need fresh ideas. I need somebody. You know, I don't know. I don't. If, as long as the Tea Party is there, you can't have a real leader. Because no real leader, the Tea Party's got just enough numbers to fuck shit up. So. The Tea Party, whoever leads in that, it's a, it's a quagmire. I mean, I, I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of Boehner for when he stepped up that last time. Like I said, I give credit where credit is due when Boehner stepped up. Now, the, the GOP, you know, it's the party of one issue, apparently. All they care about Obamacare, so remember that when you go to the polls. Well, then again, most of you don't go to the polls. So, I'm out. Peace. That's it. That's him.